light and there is light. Are you ready, church? Amen. Amen. Let us give clap of praise to our Lord God. Hallelujah. Our God is so very good. Our great God is a great healer, provider. Hallelujah. He is a powerful God. The God that we, we serve today is Jesus. He is the reason why, that's why we are here. Hallelujah. Today, let's open our Bible in Isaiah 41 verse 10. I have a testimony when I was praying in the front of the pulpit. Uh, before when I got sick. When I opened that Bible, that God is giving this verse for me. Isaiah 41 verse 10 is very highlighted in my Bible. It says here, So do not be, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let us give that offering to God. Hallelujah. Our Lord God has given me a vision. That's why before I'm going to isolation, God is showing me that I'm going to be a positive by COVID. That's why He gave this verse for me. And says here, do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Just meditate this word. Do not be afraid. For I am with you. Do not be discouraged. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. And help you. I will hold you. Up with my victorious right hand. Hallelujah. Really God is really good. God is showing me that. I got positive. And show my vision that my. Other son will be. Will be red. So will be positive. So God is. He get ready for me before that I'm going to to uh, PCR test because because my uh, company will deliver me to to work in Adnet. That's the one of the requirements of the PCR. So before of that, God is showing me that I'm going to be positive. So that that God is promising me that do not be afraid. For I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So I'm very blessed that God has given me a message in advance. Hallelujah. When I was in isolation area, I was so many... Uh, Napag-anoan ko po kung gaano kahirap. It's very difficult to be a separate. Isolation separate sick people with an accounting use, accounting use disease from people who are not sick. Being isolated in spiritual life is really dangerous to be separation your soul to God. Amen. If if you are separate from the love of God, it's so very deep, it's very difficult. No one can touch you, no one can help you, no one will help you. Only God. But even you have sin, only God can help us. And then the Bible says, do not trust in the man. Do not trust in the people. Even your brother in biological life, kapatid mo ba no, sa dugo o sa laman, will be disappoint you. Especially when you have got sick. Amen. Even your brethren, you will be disappoint you. So we can only trust by God. We can just only hold 
He's promised to us that He will never, don't do not be afraid for everything. Because God has given experience to us to, to have, to have it as a, how can you say that your God is a great healer if you will not be experienced? Amen. You cannot say our God is a great healer if you only heal from your neighbor. But we must to experience that. Amen. Amen. So, I realized when I was in the isolation area, hallelujah, if, if, God, if the love of God is not from us, we are very kawawa. We are very poor. And no one can help us. In John 15, verse 5, 6, God has given me a revelation for this verse. In verse 5, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I will in them. I will produce much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Just think about this verse, my dear brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. This activity is not a just of playing. We need to be a serious in every word that we hear from the Lord. Because one day God is coming soon. And if we are not ready, we cannot do anything. Anyone does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch. You see? And withers, such a branches are gathered into a field of the burn. So we cannot do if, uh, if we are separate from the love of God. This one is isolation, is given example, is really difficult. No one can, can help you, no one will can touch you, and no one will care for you. Just we can trust only God. But how about our spiritual life? If we are being separated from God, who will who will gonna be help us? So my dear brethren, let us try to work our salvation with trembling in fear. Because the Bible is not a joking. God is really serious to those who believe in Him. If you want to really to work out your salvation, we must to we must to an action. Sometimes God has put us in the middle of the darkness to test our faith. Because we call that Christian that the light of the world and to become light of this world, God is testing our faith. If we are in the darkness, if our light will be shine in the midst of the darkness. Yes, we are here. All our light will be dark. Uh, all our light will be shine. Because we do worship, praying, dancing to God, and praising to God. And how about when we are alone? And we, and we are in the midst of the darkness. We can do that. We can tell to other people that our God is a great God. We can do prayer in the midst of trouble. And you can give, share the word of God of them. You know, this is what I, this is the, the scenario that I experienced when I was in a isolation area. All of these people are hopeless. All of these people are very afraid. All of these people are very scared. We need life. And we are Christian. You know, I have testimony. When I was put my back in the floor 
I'm just planning how to approach them to make a Bible study. When Sister Rose was calling me, my ringtone is crucified. And then, Kuya, are you born again? Yes, I am born again. Today we will have Bible study. I said, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Talaga po mga kapatid. Really, I was so amazed. And not, I'm not be afraid, but when I left, when I leave this place, I'm really making drama only. <laughs> because like I'm going like a pasal sisiu, that there is a rainy day, and I was crying <laughs> because by uh, human nature, you know. But when I was there in the isolation area, I remember the promise of God. That God has given me a mission. And then when do I start? Hallelujah. By the grace of God, there is three persons who will understand the word of God and he will accept, they will accept Jesus Christ, our personal and Savior. And after two days, I was healed. And Lord, I really want to go home. Hallelujah. And Lord, I really want to go home because I think my mission is done. But my the security guard told me, you have to stay here 10 days. But how? What I will do doing? Then I remember again, my son, you have mission. So continuously, while I'm waiting, I just put my mind that I will go after 10 days. Since Pastor Ajesa, uh, Asked me when I will go and said, by faith, maybe tonight. But I'm not sure. I, I told him, but I'm not saying I'm not sure. Maybe tonight. And suddenly, when I was laid down in my bed, the security knocking our door. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. talaga ni Lord na makapag-preach ako at makapag-alok ng testimony. Hallelujah. So, my dear brethren, the Lord has. Inaasahan po tayo ng Panginoon because we are the salt and the light in this world. Let us open our Bible in Matthew 5, 13, 14 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under food. So our our thought must be uh, useful. Our promises should be kailangan po na lahat ng ating mga sinasabi let us uh, it should be walk by talk like that. So that people who believe in you, your soul will be uh, increased and they will believe whatever what you will say. Amen. If you just say and not talking, the people will never uh, believe in you. So that is the meaning of that. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. So, the Lord says that we are the light of the world. We are not just only sitting and listening while we are in the church. But there is some pagkakataon uh, that God has sent you in the difficult situation that you are be, ikaw lang inaasahan ng Diyos that you will be alive on that place but if you are not moving, but if you are get silent, if you are not do anything to encourage them, to na ipakilala ang Panginoong Jesus, you will be useless. So don't, don't waste your time. Don't lose your opportunity if God wants to use you in the midst of the darkness. 
Hallelujah, by praying, they will, they will, your light will be shine. By giving a, a, a good word, by giving a scripture to them, your light will be shining. Hallelujah. Just always a reminder that God is always with us. So if you are being a Christian silent, ano po yung maasahan ng Panginoon para sa atin? God is expecting you that you will do something. That's why you are sending in the midst of the darkness. God expecting you that your light will be on. Hallelujah. But if you are sleeping and you, you deny them and you don't care about them, ano po yung aasahan ng Diyos para sa atin? Hallelujah. Neither do the people light a lamp and put under a bow. Instead, they put into a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So, my dear brethren, do not lose your opportunity. If you experience something that you think is very difficult for you, just thank you, Lord. But always remember God, that God has a purpose for everything. Hallelujah. Amen. So do not be this way or that. Just think that God wants us to use you. In Luke 11, 34, verse 36. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and now and no part of the dark, it will be just a full of light as when a lamp shines the light on you. Ang iyong mata ang ilaw ng iyong katawan. Kung malinaw ang iyong mata, malilaw ang buo mong katawan. Ngunit kung malabo ang iyong mata, ang buo mong katawan ay magpupuno ng kadiliman. Kaya mag-iingat ka at baka ang liwanag na inaakala mong nasa iyo ay kadiliman pala. Your eyes is the light of the lamp of the body. When your eyes are sound, your whole body is full of light. But when your eyes are no good, your whole body will be in the darkness. If you live, hallelujah, in the darkness of the if your life is full of uh, light, hallelujah, and the God will give us I to see the bad and the good things in our life. Hallelujah. If, if you think, for example, if you are, if you know that you are Christian, hallelujah, but and behind behind that you will do something wrong. You are really 
in the darkness. In Psalm 119 verse 105, Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet and the light of my path. So my dear brethren, if you walk in the word of God, it is giving our light to direct our path. Hallelujah. That's why to read the word of God is very important in our spiritual life. To have it a relationship with God is very important so that we can walk in the righteous path of God. And if you are walking in the right path, the Lord is always be with you. The Lord will never hindi uh, kanya papabayaan at hindi kanya iiwanan. Sa lahat ng kanyang gagawin, sa lahat ng iyong gagawin, ay lagi kang kasama. Hallelujah. In 1 Peter verse 2, 9. First Peter verse 2, 9. But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who are called you out of the darkness into wonderful light. Hallelujah. God has chosen to us. God has, has been expected to us. Hallelujah. That we are a royal priesthood to be a Share His goodness in all nations. Holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of the darkness into His marvelous, wonderful light. Hallelujah. Your testimony is very important, my dear brethren. To tell the people how God uh, moving in your life. How God how uh, direct kung paano ginawa kumilos ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Kaya huwag po natin mga kapatid kalimutan ang ating mga testimony na tayo ay pinili ng Panginoon upang tayo ay magpahayag ng kanyang salita upang maging ilaw tayo ng sanglibutan upang may pakilala at may diklera ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Ngayon kapatid, yung ikaw ay magtatahi-tahimik lamang. Wala kang gagawin sa iyong buhay. Wala kang gagawin sa inatas ng Panginoon sa iyo. Ano ang mangyayari? Ano? Ano ang ibibig? Ano ang mas ano ang mahihiharap natin sa Panginoon in the day of the judgment? When we are die, God has asking us, what are you doing when you are still alive? If you are silent Christian, if you are not working as ambassador of God, God will punish you. So we must to declare what God is doing in our life so that so many people doesn't know about Jesus Christ, doesn't know that God is exists in this world. That's why we need People, we are choosing by God, my dear brethren, not only for seeking Him. If you are afraid to be unaffected with this virus, you cannot do anything. 
You must choose to stay at your home, sleep, and all of that, and do nothing. But if you put your faith in God, if you put your trust in God, you don't care. Even there is so many positive in your uh, behind you or sa yung paligi. You don't care because you know you know your mission. You know what God's plan to one of every one of us. That's why this virus is uh, doing Satan to stop people to to spread the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Kaya nga mga kapatid, mas patakot tayo sa pumapatay ng kanuluwa kaysa sa pumapatay ng katawan. Because palala ng palala ang mundong ito. Na naginip po ako one day na para ako nanonood ng transformer. Na ang mga tao ay parang robotic. And then God has give me a revelation that the uh, 666 will become soon. All the people will put chips in their in their in their body so that they will move like a robot. They will control your mind, what you're doing. So that Jesus is really coming soon. So be be aware of that. But if you are sleeping and you don't care about what will happen in this world you will not be ready. Vaccination is the kind of practicing that the people will be followed to the government. And the second thing maybe we put in the chip. So when I put in the chip, maybe we must be ready because before of that, rapture will come. So be ready when God is coming. And don't, don't risk or don't, wag niyo pong natin asahan na abutang pa natin yung tribulation, tribulation. Tribulation is more uh, difficult. People will not live in the city because hahabulin po tayo ng mga, ng gobyerno para tatakang ka. Kung ayaw mo magpatataka, mamumundo ka. So let us, Put our trust in the Lord Jesus while we have time. Let us put trust in God. Let us surrender our life to Jesus while we have in time. And do not neglect. Hallelujah. That God has given you a mission. That God has given you assignment to spread the good news of your calling, of, your, of other people. Hallelujah. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect will. So it's very clear this world. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Kung naro tayo makiayon sa takbo ng mundong ito sa pagkat, dapat natin malaman kung ano yung kalooban at hindi kalooban ng Diyos na gagawin natin. Because if you, to those who love in the world, it will be enemy from God. Amen. Sabi rin sa Tagalog, huwag kayong makiayon sa takbo ng mundong ito sa halip. Hayaan ninyong baguhin ng Diyos ang inyong pag-iisip upang maunawaan ninyo ang kanyang kalooban. Sa gayon magiging magagawa ninyo kung ano ang mabuti, kalugod-lugod at ganap na kalooban ng Diyos. Kung meron man tayong mga ginagawa na hindi kalooban ng Diyos at ang Sa tingin natin, huwag na tao, huwag na tayo maghintay mga kapatid ng panahon para mabago pa yun. Ngayon pa lang, mag-desisyon ka na. 
para tayo ay maging kalugod-lugod sa Panginoon. Sapagkat, if you have abundance of sin, your soul will be danger in hell. In Revelation 3.16, look at that picture. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. This is God says. We are hallelujah, praise the Lord, in every in every Saturday, but the Sunday and the Friday, we are go, we are doing something wrong. We are conforming to the pattern of this world. Look at the scenario, look at the picture. What is this? You cannot you cannot serve for two masters. You have to choose one of your master, God or evil. You see, half half. Because you are lukewarm, neither hard nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. This God is angry to the lukewarm Christian. Napakahirap abutan tayo ng Panginoon na ganyan ang ating kinalalagyan. Maaaring mataya mo yung mga kapatiran mo pero ang Diyos hindi natin kaya ang layan. Maybe you cheat your brethren that you are pretending a true Christian but God, you cannot mock God. He knows everything from us. So my dear brethren, this is a warning for the low-form Christian. Remember, the preacher cannot save you only by ourselves. Our, our salvation is individual. If you are claiming that you are Christian, kailangan wala ka ng panglasa sa mga bagay na ganyan. Kung baga, duplikara tawag dyan. Amen. We are called hypocrites in the sight of God if we are we are a lukewarm Christian. And see, it's about to spit you out of my mouth. Iluluwa tayo, ibutura tayo ng Diyos. Saan ka mapupunta pag dinura ka ng Diyos? Kaya ngayon pa lang, mga kapatid, Magbago na tayo dahil hindi nagbibiro ang Panginoon sa mga katulad na ganitong Kristiyano. Mag-decide ka kung gusto mong magpakasama, magpakasama ka. Kung gusto mong magpakabuti, magpakabuti ka, talikuran mo ang kasamaan. Mahirap maglingkod sa dalawang Panginoon at hindi ka may sasalba niya. Isipin natin yung ating kamag-anak, ang ating buhay ng mga mga tao, yung kapatid, pinsan, na hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Paano magbubunga, magiging salty yung asin mo kung ganyan ka, Kristiyano? Nakikita ka, brother, church tayo. Tapos makikita mo isang araw, brother, sa'yo tayo, tagay tayo, pare. So God is not happy to see you like this. Look at the picture and ask ourselves. Hallelujah. We are here for wasting time if we are not listening and we are not doing to what we heard. 
It cannot save you. Even you, you are here, but your mind will not be changed. Your, 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 ah, your, your, your style. Oh, they think a God will come later, so I will enjoy my life. Life is so short, so I need to enjoy my life while I'm still here in the earth. Remember, well, if you speak out by mouth of God, you are only totally separated from the love of God. Today, God is giving us a warning to those, to the lukewarm Christian. This is not by accident, but this is the will of God for us. Even my English is not fluently, but in the picture, you will see what is that meaning. But the verses of the of the, the scripture, you will be understand. This is not a joke, my dear brethren. To reject is very difficult. It's very hard. When someone rejecting you, how much more if God will rejecting us? And they said, I don't know you. So let us kneel down to God and be humble and ask for repentance to God. Because God is ready to, to forgive to those who will uh, sincere to repent to God. God is giving our eyes a clear eyes so that we can see what is good and what is wrong in our life. So we have to use the, that. <coughs> Amen. So I believe today God is knocking at your heart and you will be decide what you will go in to do. Even I am the preacher, if I'm doing something like that, I cannot promise that I will be in heaven. Even you are dancer here, if you will do in that one. You cannot promise that you will be in heaven. Let us serve our God that is giving salvation for us. He's giving his life to us so that we will have a live forever with him. Amen. Amen. So let us give up and bring to our God. So I believe the message of the Lord is very clear for today. We are called by, by the light of this world. It should be, our light will be on in the times of the darkness. It we should be, we spread the goodness of God to those who doesn't have, who, who doesn't know, know God. So that our our life will be useful. Hallelujah. Amen. All that we shall must be know the mission and vision and God's business to win in the soul. So I'm so very blessed of the of the people who's bringing all all the new souls in the church. But God will bless you more and more. And you will have a crown of life when you see God face to face. Amen. So my dear brother, let us wake up. Pasama na pasama na ang mundong ito, kaya dapat baguhin na natin yung ating mga istay. Surrender na natin fully sa Panginoon. 
ang ating mga buhay upang makareceive tayo ng, ng salvation sa Panginoon. My dear brethren, let our light be shine in others so that, that we will glorify our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Always remember, we need to serve in one God and one Spirit and one Father only so that we will have a better life with God. Let us stand.